This video is going to take you through a protocol that you can use to upregulate your system. Sometimes we use breath a lot to, to control our state and we use breath to bring us down a lot when we're feeling like we're hyped up or we're feeling a little anxious or too, too on for performance. This is actually the opposite. If you're feeling kind of a little bit low, a little bit of a low, a little down, this is going to help to bring you, bring your system up to stress your state a little bit and get you ready to perform. So it's, it's great to do as a warm up in your warm up if you're feeling kind of a little bit bleh or um, before your workout, before a, any type of performance. So it's fairly simple. You're going to do five normal breaths, like pendulum breaths, in and out your nose, all nasal breathing normal breaths and on that after that fifth one you're going to do 20 super ventilation and that's where you're breathing really quickly in and out your nose and then you're going to hold that last that 20th breath that exhale you're going to hold that for as long as you can before you start to feel like you need to take a breath or you're feeling that anxious feeling of like i need to breathe or you actually do take the breath um and this record where you're at the first time you do this and we're looking for for progression to where you're able to hold it longer and longer and longer we're going to do it here together you can join me to practice but um this again we're going to or you can do it right now to actually record if you want so have your clock with you but again it's going to be five normal breaths in and out our nose 20 super ventilation and then hold that exhale so we're going to do this together are we ready normal breaths So you might still be going. If you are, continue holding that. Um, if you're not, you should see what your time is. And then our goal is just to improve upon that time held each time you do this. There's not a right or a wrong way. It is more just seeing over time how you can hold that longer. Noticing the days that you're a little more stressed, how that's feeling, days that you're a little more lethargic, how is that feeling and how is it going? And it just gives you something to compare, to compare upon. But hopefully after doing this repetitively before warm-ups and before workouts, you're going to feel that starting to, um, to give you more time to hold that breath, um, which all goes to CO2 tolerance. The other thing that I forgot to mention when you're doing this is make sure that you're sitting up nice and tall. We don't want to be here. That just cuts off all of the muscles and the, the room in our, in our thoracic cavity to be able to actually, um, I shouldn't just say thoracic, our entire core area to be able to expand our lungs and expand our ribcage to be able to breathe and um, be able to get the most out of that breath. 